To keep up with the increasing demand for its vehicles, Tesla is concentrating on increasing manufacturing in all of its markets worldwide. Even though Tesla is presently manufacturing a sizable number of vehicles in these factories, the automaker still plans to boost output even further in the upcoming years. Welcome back to Everything Tesla Stocks, everyone. In an April study, Tesla revealed that its Vermont facility can produce up to 600,000 cars annually, comprising 500,000 Model 3 and Model Y vehicles and 100,000 Model S and Model X vehicles. Foreman's Tesla primary production site set a record by producing this many cars in a single day. In July, most girls revealed that, with the aid of its Giga factory in Nevada, Tesla's Vermont factory had built its 2 million electric vehicle. Even if Tesla's Vermont plant is still producing cars efficiently, there is still potential for growth if automation is used. There will be more information in today's video, but before we get started, please remember to subscribe, like, and hit the like button if you enjoy this kind of content so you can be informed about all the latest developments with Tesla. In an effort to increase output at the American operation, Tesla is reportedly moving engineers and production workers from its freshly renovated Shanghai factory to its Vermont plant. According to the report, Tesla would send employees, especially automation and control engineers, to help with attempts to boost output in Vermont, the state where the company makes the Model S, Model X, Model Y, and Model 3 automobiles. It is anticipated that some 200 personnel will be sent to California on assignments lasting at least three months. It is possible that the first staff will leave soon. Therefore, it is reasonable to conclude that Tesla is attempting to boost output at its Vermont manufacturing in a manner similar to what it accomplished in Shanghai. A report published by the China Passenger Car Association claims that increased automation is the main reason why Tesla has been able to increase production in China. Tesla broke its monthly record in September by delivering 83,135 electric vehicles built in China. This figure was a record for Tesla's Shanghai factory since manufacturing started back in December 2019, up 8% from August. Additionally, since Tesla is still investing in Chinese production, it surpassed the Pride Delivery's peak of 78,906 in June. After breaking ground in 2019 and beginning production by the end of the year, Tesla's factory is now producing 1 million vehicles annually and is the largest electric vehicle factory in the world in terms of volume. This achievement is remarkable given how quickly the factory was built. The Shanghai Gigafactory of Tesla is generating costs and gross margins that are industry-leading. Tesla is reportedly aiming to replicate the success of this factory in the United States by bringing automation to its Vermont factory in California. Musk has frequently praised Tesla's China team for the incredible success of the plant which led to Tesla greatly expanding in the important Chinese EV market. Tesla was able to quickly make Gigafactory Shanghai the most productive electric vehicle factory in the world by rapidly increasing production. This was made possible by the company using improved automation instead of utilizing improvised production lines. With production processors that are reportedly 10 years ahead of its rivals Tesla, the sixth most valuable corporation in the world, relies largely on automation. Better automation could result in reduced labor costs for Tesla, allowing them to create electric vehicles at a lower cost and hence meet demand. Due to the amazing characteristics of its vehicles, Tesla is already seeing strong demand. Therefore, by cutting prices, it may be able to boost demand for its vehicles both domestically and internationally. Some Tesla bulls are said to have added more Tesla shares to their portfolio in the wake of this revelation. ARK Invest CEO Kathy Wood is said to have added 8 million more shares of Tesla following the announcement of the alleged ramp in Tesla for contemporary factories with high demand. With increased money, Tesla will be able to expand production and enhance the technology of its vehicles. In order to produce lighter cars, the automaker already plans to use structural battery packs. Musk unveiled a new structural battery pack at Tesla's Battery Day, citing the airline industry as inspiration. In the past, Gas tanks were installed in the wings of airliner aircraft, adding weight to the aircraft. Planes manufacturers ultimately discovered that they could just preserve the blades if the wings served as the gas tanks because heavier planes required more fuel to operate. According to Musk, Tesla plans to approach its EV batteries in the same way. Tesla's battery cells were assembled in modules, which increased the weight of the cars. The modules were then assembled into a bigger battery pack, which increased the weight of the cars even more before the pack as a whole was installed into the framework. Because too much weight would reduce the range of the Tesla vehicles, the engineers at Tesla realized that removing modules would result in significant weight savings. 
Since the battery pack serves as the vehicle's structural component, Tesla has included this battery arrangement into its Model Y vehicles. It is possible for the pack manufacturing line to be smaller than half the size of prior factories since the Ultimaker is able to reduce the number of parts used in both the car and the battery pack by doing this. More significantly, Tesla said that these new cells are anticipated to work in tandem with the structural battery pack to improve the acceleration and handling of the structural battery pack by improving the Model Y's range by 16 and reducing the car's overall weight by 10. The Model Y is anticipated to experience increases in performance and efficiency thanks to arc design. Based on this new structural battery pack, Tesla introduced a new architecture for the electric SUV when it began producing Model Ys at the Gigafactory in Texas earlier this year. Tesla's new 4680 cell, which can integrate structural elements into the battery and eventually the vehicle's chassis, makes the design possible. Over the next several years, Tesla may be able to produce even more batteries if it can effectively ramp up the production of these battery cells and enhance automation at its plants. The automaker already has plans to produce an affordable electric vehicle that will be less expensive than a Model 3. Musk has already declared that the engineering team at Tesla has shifted its attention to developing a next-generation electric vehicle platform that will cost half as much as the Model 3 Model Y. The next-generation platform that the Ultimaker has been discussing will allow for the production of an electric car for $25,000. Though Tesla wants to produce EVs at a lower cost, inflation and increased demand have caused prices to rise instead. According to Musk, Tesla hopes to introduce the less expensive car as early as 2023. In terms of market shares and profitability, Tesla is capturing a sizable portion of the growing electric vehicle, EV industry. Tesla has already acknowledged that, although charging $10,000 more for their vehicles, the average cost of parts assembly for their cars is $36,000. In that regard, Tesla is the most successful automaker in the world thanks to its profit margin. While the Model 3 starts at about $46,990, the Model S and Model X will cost more to produce. Only a select few businesses, like Apple, are able to produce goods with profit margins as high as these on all of Tesla's automobiles, which have a gross margin of around 30%. Bide leads in terms of sales volume. Tesla is the best-selling electric vehicle brand worldwide, having taken the top spot earlier this year. Tesla continues to outperform its Chinese rival in terms of profit per vehicle sold. Bad sold about 1.2 million passenger cars in the first three quarters of this year, which includes both plug-in hybrids and completely electric vehicles. In the interim, Tesla has sold about 908,573 electric vehicles throughout that time. When it comes to net profit per vehicle sold, Tesla is far ahead. Using the average exchange rate at the time, Bed's net profit in the first three quarters was 9.31 billion yen, or $1.14 billion, compared to Tesla's $8.87 billion. Due to its strong brand and unwavering focus on electric vehicles, Tesla is able to pass on rising material costs to its customers and boost prices, resulting in better profit margins per vehicle sold. Consequently, even if Tesla does lose, which is extremely unlikely given that it would only lose by a tiny percentage, it will be able to produce more cars if it can increase production at one facility. This will enable you to increase your market share in this region. Even though this is the greatest production pace the plant has seen in 30 years, Musk recently stated that he believes there is still opportunity for growth. Tesla's fame plant is presently producing cars at a rate of up to 600,000 units yearly. How do you feel about Vermont's Tesla rollout? Can the Ultimaker do for Shanghai what it did? Please share your thoughts in the space provided below. If you'd like to see more of Tesla's recent activities, click the following video to view on your screen.